hello god welcome to ash media house for today's videos i'm going to be walking you through how to multiply fraction so what does it mean to multiply a fraction when you multiply a number by a fraction you are finding part of that number for instance you have like three times two to turn which means you are finding to turn of three so in this case how do we solve this problem so in this case we rewrite our problem like this by the way three is a whole number but every whole number is expressed over one so we rewrite it like this three over one times two third To turn. So how do we multiply this problem? You multiply this problem by multiplying numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. So in this case, we we'll firstly tackle the two numerator, which is two times three, which give us six, and three times one is is just three. So right, you see this is the answer. Now, once you see a problem like this, this can be reduced. This can be reduced. Six divided by three is two. Three into the seven one time and three into six two times. So the answer will be two. So yes, two, 2 is the answer. So once again, you multiply by, you multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by denominator. 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 1 is 3. So if you reach to this problem like this, if you can simplify, you simplify it. So problem like this is going to be simplified. 6 divided by 3x2 that's the answer so let's move to the second problem um 2 times 1 half so in this case we are finding 1 half of 2 so like this we're going to rewrite our problem like this 2 every whole number is expressed over 1 bring our problem down 1 Half. So two down one is two. Two down one is two. So we arrive at this point. So once you arrive at this point, you know that it can be divided or simplified. Definitely, you want to simplify this. If you leave it like this, it's going to be wrong. So two over two is just one. So our answer is one. So let's go to the next problem. Find one third of 12. So we're gonna rewrite our problem like this. 12, every whole number is expressed of her. one times one third. You gotta be equal. 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 3. 3 times 1 is 3. So when we arrive at this point, we also want to divide because 3 can go into 12 evenly without the remainder. So you want to divide this. So 3 down 3 into 7 one time, 3 into 12 four times. So 3 times 4 is 12. So the answer is four. Right? You got it. So we'll go to the next problem. Um, so this time around I switch it. I bring this whole number on the side and bring the fraction to the right side, to the left side. 
So in this case, you just want to apply the same mentor. You bring the whole fraction down to faith of faith. By the way, five has the whole number of one. So two times five is 10. Two times five is 10, five times one is five. Five divided by 10 is two. And that's the answer. I go to the next problem. 3 fifth times 4. I was read our equal sign. Bring out, we read our problem. 3 fifth times 4 over 1. The equal. 3 down 4. 3 down 4 is 12. 5 times 1 is 5. So yeah, this is our answer. Can this be reduced to a lowest term? No, this can be reduced to a lowest term. So this can be reduced to a lower term. We just leave it like this. This is the answer. So attempt the last problem. To faith of 12, we read our problem like this and we read our problem like this to faith times 12 you always want to express it over one two times 12 will give you 24 five times one is five so there's the answer um by the way there's an improper fraction there's an improper fraction so so guys thank you for watching comment like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next lecture